Hi guys, this is Snapcraft and welcome to another series uh, of Starcraft English commentary. This is gonna be the highly anticipated quarterfinal number three played between Bisu and Snow as part of Ace Season 17. That's right. So we have two players already qualifying for the semi-final sharp and hero. The next two players are gonna be coming out of these four players. And the first player is gonna be Bisu versus Snow who played today. And tomorrow we'll have Mini versus Soki. The early final, I guess, the, the repeat of the previous game, uh, the previous final. A, a lot of people in the crowd, some uh, Korean, some non-Korean Westerners, etc. So, anyways, before the game gets heated, I mean, it looks like somebody, Bisu it is, who sends us a very, very early probe. But before I talk about that probe, let's talk about what everyone is saying on the TeamLiquid.net uh, live report threads. Uh, Pro Satan from Romania says, my liquid bet is on Bisu and Soki. All right, Nerdy from Bulgaria says Bruce Lee fighting. Who's Bruce Lee? I don't know. William says um, this might be the best season ever. All quarterfinal matches are so highly uh, anticipated. Damn it! Uh, and then Holy Bad says I'm gonna go with Snow. Uh, Masoka from Spain says Bisu fighting, and Malongo says most likely the outcome is Snow three one to Bisu. So Snow defeats Bisu. Uh, I disagree with that. I disagree with that assessment. I actually think Bisu would take this 3-2. Why? I will show that to you momentarily but before, but let's talk about what's happening on this map right now. Looks like Bisu is pulling one of the two things that, the only two things he knows how to do against B, uh, another Protoss player, which is Proxy Gateway. Uh, the other build, the only other build he knows how to do is early Dark Templar Rush. That's it. He's so infamous for going for w, double Proxy Gateway uh, Rushes, and he's so infamous for going one Gateway Dark Templar Rush. I mean, he's just, I mean, that's like, basically, he's like the stork carrier version, uh, but for PvP. Uh, anyways, before the game gets hit, let me show you the ELO score I just picked up for today. That's right. So if you look at the, you know, who are the best players on in the StarCraft scene today, Snow is number one, and Bisu is number two. 1400, uh, I can't see exactly, 1400, and I guess uh, 3000, uh, 1900, basically. Uh, 1390 uh, or something like that is going to be the, the scores between these two players. So Snow and Bisu are both very highly ranked, uh, you know, in uh, in Elo scores. Here, as you can see, this is going to be the better the better version to see. Um, and what else, man? I want to show you the win rates uh, for the various matchups. So Bisu is the PvP expert with 75% win rate. Snow is only 67% win rate. Uh, and he is highly ranked Bisu because he likes to go for these cheeses. I mean, this is one of the cheese that he likes to pull. The other uh, cheese that he likes to pull is to go for single gateway uh, with a Dark Templar Rush. But it looks like Bisu's got it difficult right away. His Zealot got trapped. And we have a shield battery battles happening here. The correct build, the correct response for this kind of build is to go for double shield battery and a lot of probe getting pulled. And, you know, getting the probe uh, coming out and protecting uh, as well. We have a Dragoon getting stuck. The Dragoon needs to be on hold position. And he is holding quite nicely. The probe is doing some good damage. And one of the Xenot from Bisu dies. He's is kind of unfortunate there. This other Xenot is going to try to surround his enemy's probes. And he's able to get out alive. He's going to be able to uh, use the shield battery once again. But the shield battery for Bisu is kind of on the other side of the map. Kind of far away. But now he will get in the position to get more recharge. That's, that's nice. Uh, after that battles, I guess not that, that battles, but after that small encounter, Bisu's 25 supply, Snow is down to 20, Snow is migrating, Harvard is probe, but Bisu finally is able to take out some forces, but Snow escapes one of his Dragoons, both of his Dragoons are alive now, I think Dragoon range is possibly underway, so all of the Zenot from Snow is dying fast, the battery is not being used because it's not in the right position, I don't know why Bisu decided to build the battery so far out, uh, and now he's able to execute every single probe, I guess, but after this, uh, Snow is gonna be coming out with double Dragoon with range. How many more supplies? Looks like Snow's 15 supply. Bisu's 19. Uh, Bisu's gonna be dying after the last of his Zealot. He's gonna try to build kill as many um, forces as possible. He's coming out here and finally he's gonna have another Zealot. This is possibly gonna be the last Zealot now because Snow's number of Dragoon is down is up to three now. Bisu's wasting so many Zealot. He needs to destroy as many probes as possible. He's about to try to do so and also use the battery to his advantage. This is quite nice. One of the Dragoon is kind of damaged. That Dragoon possibly could get surrounded here. But Zealot is gonna be able to come in and recharge one last time. And maybe to do one more hit and that's it. He's recharging like crazy. How many recharge is that shield battery? The number of probes. Uh, for Snow is also kind of dwindling, but finally, yeah, I think the game might reset a bit here. Uh, can Snow go for what? I don't know. I mean, what is going to be his recourse? 
uh, possibly just cannons on the low ground or something like that. Uh, you need to either stop making his Zenot now and switch into cannons. Or has another, you know, an, uh, uh, has a different uh, game plan in mind. We're going to be having Dragoons. One Dragoon is damaged. That Dragoon could possibly die. Bisu is going to be to take out the Dragoon. He's not able to take out the Dragoon. And that will survive for the time being. And Bisu is uh, going to be losing all of his health. But he's got Mozilla coming from the low ground. I think it might be better for him just to completely forget about this man. He's still trying very hard with three Dragoons against two Zealot and possibly Dragoon range is completed already. So that's hard man. This other Dragoon has not recharged yet. So it could still die. Oh my god, that's a mistake by Snow losing a Dragoon. I need to recharge his Dragoon now. He's pulling back to recharge quite nicely. And indeed he does a good... He Come on, recharge! What are you doing? He is... Uh, I guess, yeah, he finally is recharging. Uh, and that Dragoon in the back will, uh, I guess, survive for some time. We're going to be having Marozella coming out. Snow is ahead by three supply now. What is going to be the build for Bisu? We're seeing B uh, Bisu putting down a pylon near his uh, choke here. He might be going for Forge. I don't know. This other Dragoon is damaged, but it survives for the time being. Uh, and we're going to be seeing Probe checking out the situation on the right side. Looks like maybe Snow is still oblivious as to the, 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 the location of his enemy's gateways. Yeah, we're going to be having Core coming up. Yeah, so looks like... Uh, Snow says, I'm gonna play this, you know, the, the ballsy way. I'm gonna be, do a, a, a do or die battle here, Bisu says, because I'm not gonna go for Forge. The only thing I will go for is Fast Dragoon, and that's it. Anyways, the, the core has been discovered. The core is about 60-70% done only, so if the gateway can get discovered, then those Dragoons will not be able to come out on time. Uh, yeah, Bisu is still doesn't know about where, the, where his gateways, are, his enemies' gateways are located. Now he knows. Excuse me, Snow. Yeah, now Snow knows. He sees that there's going to be a pylon there. We need to destroy the pylon right away. He comes forward and starts to destroy the pylon. But Zenot, we need to come from the other side. And now it looks like Zenot is not coming forward just yet. Uh, oh my god. We're going to be having just a single Zenot that comes out here. More Zenot surrounding from the back. And there's no shield battery to recharge. And that single Zenot possibly saved Misu from distinction for, um, ex uh, extinction here. We're going to be having six Zenot versus uh, four or five Dragoons here. And Misu need to back up a little bit here. Looks like another gateway coming up for Snow. So the game has kind of reset it here. The Zealot are just going to try to be buying time for Bisu. Remember, Bisu Dragoon, if it comes out, will not have range. So they will, we will not be able to uh, attack effectively against Snow Dragoon. See, and Snow is going to push these Zealots back. One Zealot could possibly die. Uh, so, so damage. And yeah, we're going to be having a Dragoon already popping out. Okay, looks like Core not yet upgraded for Snow during this entire time. I completely was mistaken. I thought his Core should have been upgraded. But no, Bisu is going to be coming up with more Xenot and more forces overall, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, because it's got six Xenot and possibly two or three Dragoons. Uh, they're going to be hiding on high ground here. Looks like uh, Snow has got a nice informational advantage. He sees exactly what his enemy is doing. The Dragoons are waiting to attack in that uh, pylon. We need to get destroyed. Only two Dragoons is not. We're going to be having the third Dragoon coming up from Bisu. But that Dragoon is kind of getting pushed back here. He needs to surround from all sides. Oh my god. What are you doing? Bisu is attacking. But his first Zen uh, Dragoon is going to get attacked here. Four. Uh, six Dragoons versus three. And two Zen out here. One more Dragoon gets sniped. And Bisu we need to attack hard. He's not surrounding nicely with his uh, Zen out here. And one, one more Dragoon dies here. So only one single Dragoon remains. Uh, for Bisu, he's pushing his enemies back, but he's trading poorly. And this is the reason why his supply is down to only 36. We're going to be have, uh, having Observer coming first because yeah, Snow maybe thinks that he's ahead. So we need to kind of invest into Observers in case and his enemy goes something crazy. Looks like Bisu might decide to move up the ramp. He's not yet moving up the ramp. Uh, he's going to be building another core. Uh, excuse me, another gateway in his home just in case his pylon get unpowered there. You know, it would be nice to actually go out there and build just another pylon just to be completely safe. We were we coming off for snow. 47 supply for snow. Bisu 38 and his Zalots are dying fast, Bisu. Uh, he needs to attack now. He's got enough forces. He comes out and sudden attack, but he's completely outnumbered. I mean, his enemy's got so much forces. One more Dragoon, not yet attacking for Bisu, but now it is attacking Dragoons on the right side. Need to move forward. And Bisu is gonna be down to only a single Dragoon. That Dragoon died. Only four Zelda remainings and GG from Bisu Snow takes a very, very nice defensive position and wins the first game. Thanks a lot uh, for watching. If you like the video, buy me a coffee. The link is in the video description. Have a good day. Bye bye.